Wild cards. What are wild cards? Just as his name says, they are wild cards. Meaning, if you play um, cards, and you know, in um, in poker or blackjack, they do pick a card like a ten or nine, whatever the card, and you could match it to any of the card to make your flash trail or whatever that you like so that is kind of a wild card so just like that in linux we use wild cards to get the output that we are looking for a wild card is a character now this is a definition right from the linux dictionary that can be used as a substitute from any of a class of characters in a search so there are many wild cards, but the most basic ones I have listed here, there are three. The first one is the one I use most of the time is asterisk, which is also referred to as a star. A star represents zero or more characters, anything that matches with that star placeholder. We'll look into that in a moment when we actually use the star wild card in our Linux machine. Then we have question mark represents a single character. So if you have a, a file name text and you are looking for any files that has the word text and you could use T E instead of X, you could just put question mark in there and then T that means whichever files that had T E doesn't matter what's inside of it, the X and the last letter is X, a T, then it will work. The, the third one we have brackets, which represents a range of characters. So it's better we look at it in the Linux machine to understand them uh, more deeply. I'm going to bring up my machine real quick. Where did it go? Right here. I'm logged in always as myself. And I'm in my home directory, of course. Now, um, right now, these are the files and directories in exist in my home directory. I want to create nine files that has a name, let's say, A, B, C, D, 1, and X, Y, Z. And then same thing, instead of 1, it just increments the number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I could do this, touch A, B, C, D, 1 dash x y z one time then hit up arrow key again change one to two change two to three and keep going but don't you think it's cumbersome and tedious it is right so we use wildcard to perform that task because we're going to create nine files so it's just a practice that we are doing for nine files <laughs> trust me in, in in corporate environment you're probably going to have to create like thousands of files what you're going to do you're going to just hit up arrow key and or type it thousand times no that's not productive so then what do you do we use wild cards so first of all i'm going to do is i'm going to remove these files one by one again i could remove it wild card as well but let's create it first, then I'll show you how I could remove it. So I have two left. Now I could use a wild card to remove both in one shot. Remove A, B, C, wild card. So what is telling it, remove everything that has a file name that starts with A, B, C, and whatever that comes afterward, you don't care, just remove it. I hit enter, and that's my LTR, and you'll see all those two files are gone. Now I'm gonna create nine files and to create nine files i'll use the command touch as you know the touch is the command to use and then there is a wild card another wild card that's called curly braces so i was creating file a b c d curly braces one dot dot nine because i'm going to create nine files so this curly braces one dot dot nine is telling you create nine files that has the digit one through nine and dash x y z when I run this command, what do you think that I will have listed in my home directory? I will have nine files right here at the bottom. You'll see I have nine files. Awesome, right? This is what you wanted to do. It is much more faster to do in the wildcard as opposed to typing what by one. So 
let's use the asterisk kick. What I just want to list every file name that starts with ABC. You do ABC asterisk and you will have all the files that starts with ABC. I want to remove every file that starts with ABC. You could remove one by one A, B, C, D, one and so on and so forth. Again, very cumbersome. Don't do it. You're a system administrator. You are smart folks. You don't want to use the commands one by one. What you would use? You'll use a wildcard. So you'll do A, B, C, D or A, B and do asterisk. The reason I picked the four letters is because if I just pick A and hit asterisk, it will also remove any other files in my home directory that starts with A and which I don't want it to do it. Uh, right now, I don't have any files. So let's say if I create a file, touch A. So now I have all the files and A. So I just want to confirm I don't have A. So I don't delete any file accidentally. So yes, I don't have any file that begins with A other than these. So if I just do remove A asterisk, it will remove all the files that starts with A. Let's check it. See, all those files are gone. Isn't that cool? Yes, it is. I love this asterisk because I use it all the time. I'm going to recreate those files again by hitting up arrow key that will return my last RAN command. Just confirm they are there. Now what if I want to remove everything that ends with XYZ? Same way, remove, but this time we'll put asterisk in front of XYZ. Hit enter, boom, all gone. Awesome. I'm going to recreate it just for the exercise of this lesson. It created nine files. Now we'll move on to the next wildcard, which is the question mark. The next question mark is telling it ls minus l question mark b c d asterisk. Okay, what am I asking here? I'm asking is give me all the files that has whatever the character is the first as long as the other characters has B, C, D, and whatever comes afterwards. These are the matching files because whatever the first character is, whether it's A or not, I don't care. I just want to make sure I will get the listing of the files that has B, C, D in it and after the A. So that's how you use the question mark. And the last one, we have brackets. Bracket is going to tell me that give me anything that has C or D letter in a file. It's just that simple. Either C, either D, either F, or this and that. So you put all that stuff that you're looking for inside of the bracket and you will have all those files. You see here, and it went so fast, so I'm gonna put it in more. The output, I want to see one page at a time. And you'll see it gave me and it has a it has b every file that i'm getting has either has a or b either has a or b so that's how it works that's how the wildcard works again now i want to get rid of all the files that has um y x and y in it awesome i have my wildcard i'm not gonna go and delete one by one so this command is telling the shell that go ahead and please delete all the files that has X and Y in it. And X and Y has to be together, of course. So I, we do have these matching files, X, Y, and it will go ahead and delete it. And all of them are gone. So while card not necessarily is used just with LS or remove, you could use it with any of the commands you we have you could use it with all the commands we have learned so far try it try it with different commands if it doesn't work that's okay go online google it and try wildcard wildcard examples try them just get familiar with them this will help you a lot in your job i promise you